Good morning, everyone. I hope you're doing well. Today, Gray is eating his breakfast. What do you have for breakfast? You've got some blueberries. I had some grapes, but he ate them all. And we're having some blueberry muffin. Is that so yummy? <laughs> And of course, Felix is never far behind. <laughs> Hi, Thief. <laughs> yeah, Felix. So we don't have much going on today. I think we'll just hang out. And we do need to go to the um, post office um, and finally mail out Grayson's um, thank you cards for his birthday party. That was like almost a month ago, but I've been so busy and I just really haven't wanted to do it. But I have them all wrote out. They're in envelopes. I just need more postage stamps. Yeah, so I think we'll go there and we'll probably go on a walk. It's supposed to be a beautiful day today, so I'm excited. I'm excited to bring you guys along with us today. So it is a beautiful day out today. We are on a walk just in our little neighborhood. If you um, have ever been in Ohio in the springtime, you would know that the weather is very hard to predict. So usually in Ohio in the springtime, in the mornings it'll be about 50s, uh, mid 50s, and then um, by the end of the day it will usually be in the high 70s, which makes it very hard to dress because you're basically going through like 20 degrees in a day. So that's why I'm wearing a coat. I don't know if you could see. That's why I'm wearing a coat because it is cold this morning, but it's supposed to get up to 77 today. So anyway, um, Grayson's here with me. I'm pushing him in the stroller if you can't hear. There he is. You say hi? Say hi. <laughs> he loves walks. He's always loved walks. Um, I've learned that I need to have get him something to like keep him occupied while we're on walks. He used to just like be fine with looking and doing whatever, but that's not the case anymore. <laughs> He's a little older and a little more opinionated. So um, now when we go on walks, I give him Cheerios. And he loves his Cheerios, don't you? you love Cheerios? Yeah, he loves them. So I've learned that if I give him Cheerios, he's more likely to be happier on the walk for longer. And I like to go on long walks. I really like walking. I don't like running. I don't really like working out, but I love walks. I can walk all day. So yeah, it's a beautiful day today. We're on our walk. Sometimes we go on just one walk a day, sometimes two kind of depending on Gray's nap schedule and all of that. Sometimes we can only do one nap a day. But I wanted to talk really fast because I live in uh, a neighborhood in Columbus and I've been having issues lately while on my walks in the neighborhood. Um, Grayson and I, we basically go on the same kind of path every day. I might have to recontinue this when we're not on such a busy street. Hang on, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. We're on a less busy street, and I took my coat off because it's hot now. <laughs> it's Ohio weather. So anyway, I've been having a little bit of an issue in my neighborhood lately. And the issue being that <laughs> cars keep trying to run me over, run me and my son over, <laughs> while we're on our walks. So um, basically what happens is we'll be on a walk, We'll be on the sidewalk like we should be and some of the houses in my neighborhood have very short driveways and a lot of people park their cars in the driveway. Well, sometimes there will be a car in the driveway, the car will be on, I will see that the car is on, I will stop before I get into the driveway to make sure that the driver notices me and to make sure that they're not gonna back up right away and back into us. So I'll wait a good while, they won't move. So then I think to myself, oh, 
they either saw me and they're waiting for me to go or they're just sitting in their car, which sometimes people do, I get it. So after I wait a good amount of time and they don't move and I don't know what else to do, I start going. And I get to about the middle of the driveway and then all of a sudden the car that's in the driveway will start backing up when I'm right in the middle of the driveway. Now you would think, oh, they'll just look in their rear view mirror and see that you're crossing right in front of their driveway and they'll stop. You would think that, but they don't. <laughs> they don't stop. They don't look. They just, they obviously haven't been looking. They're probably on their phones or something. And they just start backing up. And these driveways are short and they, dri and they back up fast. And so I have to sprint with while pushing my child in the stroller to get out of the way so that my son and I don't get hit by a car. What? I've never had this issue before I moved to this um, uh, neighborhood. And I was just so shocked that this was going on. And this has happened multiple times. Um, which is crazy. You would think, oh, okay, maybe once, maybe somebody's just having a bad day, whatever. No, this has happened several times. It doesn't happen every time while I'm on a walk, mostly because my son and I will go on walks um, during the middle of the day when everyone's at work and whatever, but it still happens. So yeah, that's what I've been dealing with. Um, another situation will happen when we'll be walking and we will see car and it's sitting in the driveway again. And so my son and I, we will wait right before the driveway to see if the person's gonna back up or if they're just sitting in their car or whatever. So we'll be standing there. And then sometimes the car does back up. They back up through their driveway and we're just sitting there waiting for them to go. And then the car will get about halfway down their driveway. We'll finally look to see like, oh, is there somebody around me? Will notice my son and I waiting in front of their driveway for them to move and they will actually stop backing up and they reverse and go back up their driveway so that we can cross. It's fine that way, but I wish they would have taken a minute or a second, even just a second, to stop and look and um, see that there's somebody in their driveway and then they could wave at us and like wave us along and then we could go. So that's been happening a lot lately and now it's getting warmer and so more people are out and I'm just concerned. <laughs> this has been a problem last summer and it's now becoming a problem. It's not even summer here. So I did something that's very uncharacteristic of me. So I'm a part of a Facebook group of my neighborhood. And basically, if you live in the neighborhood, you can be a part of this Facebook group, and people will post just different things about events going on in the neighborhood or around the neighborhood. People will post, like, my car got broken into, watch out, or people will post, we have, like, a skunk problem in our neighborhood, so people will post, like, watch out, there's a skunk, don't take your dog there, or whatever. So I've never posted on there. I've been a member for a while. Never posted. And so I went on that Facebook group and I made a post, which is so uncharacteristic of me. And I basically just said like, hello, fellow neighbors, like, and I wanted to be nice about it because I didn't want to come off as like mean and like complainy. But I was getting tired of almost being run over. So I posted on my neighborhood Facebook group and I was like, hey, I just want to let you guys know, like just a little reminder, like could you please, when you're backing out of your house, could you please take a second before you back out and like look around? <laughs> you think it would be like common sense, but I said, could you please look around and make sure that there's nobody behind you or on either side of you? And that way you don't almost run people over or, you know, you just keep everything safe. And I like listed the few times that it happened to me and I was just like, you know, I just don't want this to keep happening. And I was worried when I posted it because I wasn't sure what the response was going to be. Because some posts that people post in my neighborhood Facebook group are met with like a lot of backlash and people be like, yeah, you're just here for the drama, blah, blah, blah. 
I was genuinely concerned and I needed to voice my concerns. So I posted. It was actually met with a lot of praise. A lot of, a ton of people liked and loved my Facebook comment. A lot of people posted and they said like, you know, I've had this issue too. And, um, you know, I'll, or other people be like, I try to look like sometimes there's a lot of cars around my place, but I go very, very slow. And I am realistic to know that like not, not everybody in our neighborhood is part of this Facebook group. I get it. So it could be, it could very well be that all the times that I've ran into this problem, um, it's been people who are not part of the Facebook group, but everybody needs a little reminder now and then. So I decided to give them a little reminder and I'm glad I did it. I'm sure it, there will be instances again where people are not watching what they're doing and I get it sometimes like things happen and it's just not what you're thinking of, but I just hope that people will remember my post throughout the summer and just look before they go, which you would think would be like general knowledge, but apparently it's not. So while we go on these walks, I love to listen to podcasts while I walk because gray isn't much for conversation and I'll get pretty bored if I'm just walking. <laughs> not listening to anything. I um, listen to podcasts and I'm wondering if you guys have any suggestions on what podcasts I should listen to. Um, I've listened to Serial, uh, both, oh no, all three seasons. They have three seasons now. And I just finished In the Dark, which was really good. They had two seasons. And now I am on to Crime Junkie. So if you can get like a common theme here, I really like podcasts about like crime and things that are unsolved or like weird crimes and stuff like that. So if you have any suggestions on things, podcasts that I should listen to, uh, leave a comment because I'd love to listen to them. I go through podcasts pretty fast because I walk a lot. <laughs> so let me know. We are back. So I totally forgot to take you guys along. After our walk, Grayson took a nap and then we went to the post office um, so I could finally mail out his um, first birthday thank you cards. And then we went to the grocery store to pick up a few things and now we are back home. So sorry, I forgot to take you guys along with that. Um, but we are just in Gray's playroom slash our guest bedroom. And he's just playing, let me show you. Gray, can you say hi? Hi, so he's been Really excited because he finally figured out how to use this little marble run thing. And you just take like one of these balls and you put it and it just goes down. And Grayson just recently learned like how to work it. So let's see if I can get him to um, play with it. Grayson, look! Can you do it? No, don't take the camera. Can you play with your marble run? No, he wants the camera. <laughs> no, you can't have it. Hi. Hey guys, I just wanted to end the vlog for today. Um, after Gray and I played a little bit, Anthony came home from work, we had dinner, and then Grayson went to bed. So I just want to say thanks for watching today's video. Um, give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!